While working out the four coloring rules, I discovered that the ignotiles could also generate parametric spaces for musical composition and performance. The theatrical action Merbius Paths, performed by the theatrical group Tet in 1980, was the first performance I created based on the parametric spaces. It involved cutting up a large Merbius strip and reading the sliced up text on it. Domain in 1983 was a graphical score performed by musicians associated with Phonos and the Universitat Nova in Barcelona. Instrumentation, pitch class and sequence, large and small scale durations, and phrasing were all determined by the parametric spaces derived from a particular Greco-Latin square. In 1983, I also moved back to the States with my young family, to Chicago, where I soon enrolled in the MFA program at the School of the Art Institute, and learned to program computers. I had hopes there would be a kind of magic theater where my intermedia system would take off. I'm still working on that idea. In 2004, I managed to charm the composer Stephen Dembski into collaborating with me on a project that used a similar parametric space as source material for a virtual world and a song cycle based on William Blake's Proverbs of Hell, Fool's Paradise. In Steve's able hands, this material, which I had always found recalcitrant, proved supple and surprising. The strategies of mapping and recombination have obviously served me well. As I said early on, I've even created four fictitious artists, Paul Hertz, an algorist, Alma de la Serra, a mathematician turned nature photographer, Daryl Luce, a figurative painter, and Juan Teodosio Pescador, stage name Ignotus, a dysfunctional fortune teller. I expect to map their styles onto one another, recombining them much as I have everything else. If these works on paper, created over some 30 years, possess an elaborate formal language in line with constructivist art of the 20th century avant-garde, I hope they also own up to a sly mischief, smearing formality with muddy meaning. In the wider scope of my work, of which these visual patterns are one manifestation, laying stricture on structure, mixing media and modality, I aim for something akin to expressionistic excess. Complex systems arise from simple systems, and meaning canters in on the back of any sufficiently self-referential system or so the story goes. Shouldn't a sufficiently complex system be able to ask itself whether it should take itself seriously? Let the grand edifices slouch into ruin under the weight of their ponderous metaphysical ideas. Let us proceed with the giddy aplomb of a clown on a tightrope stepping off into thin air into the next moment, into the next epoch.